welcome to Sunday Club. Dear children, let's praise the Lord. Hallelujah. First, I will tell you the meaning of the word hallelujah. Hallelujah is not an English word. It is a Hebrew word. And it is a phrase of two separate words. Hallelujah and ya. In Hebrew, hallelujah means let us praise. And ya is short form for Yahweh. The name of our God in Hebrew is Yahweh. In English, it is Jehovah. So, let us praise the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 praise the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, hallelujah, praise the Lord, hallelujah, praise the Lord, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 praise the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, hallelujah, praise the Lord, hallelujah, praise the Lord, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Praise? What's that? It's a yippee yahoo way to God. Praise? What's that? It's a yippee yahoo way to God. Hallelujah, 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 praise the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, hallelujah, praise the Lord, hallelujah, praise the Lord, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Praise? What's that? It's a yippee yahoo way to God. Praise? What's that? It's a yippee yahoo way to God. Hallelujah, 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 praise the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 praise the Lord. talking about Joseph and how he has been sold into slavery. Now Joseph has been taken to Egypt by the slave traders. When they got to Egypt, lots of people were there buying slaves and Joseph was one of the slaves that loads of people wanted to buy. But he was bought by Pharaoh's commander-in-chief of the army and his name was Potiphar. Potiphar took Joseph to his house to look after his household like gardening, cleaning and Joseph was very good at it and as Joseph was looking after Potiphar's domestic situation Potiphar was really pleased with him. Because Potiphar noticed that everything Joseph did, he did it with a spirit of excellence and he did a very, very good job. Joseph must have been as content in Potiphar's home as a slave could be. He was loved and trusted, a servant in an important man's household. He knew too that God was with him. But Joseph was soon in trouble again, through no fault of his own. Potiphar's wife had taken a great liking to this handsome young man 
and soon was trying to persuade him to go off with her while Potiphar was at work. Joseph would not listen to her. My master trusts me, he said, with everything he has. How could I deceive him? Besides, it would be a sin against the God that I serve. Potiphar's wife would not take no for an answer. She followed Joseph around, wheedling and pleading with him. Joseph tried to keep out of her way, but one day she found him on his own. When she put his own, her arms around him, Joseph could take no more of this and he ran. Potiphar's wife was furious. She told her husband lies about Joseph. She pretended it was Joseph who had done wrong. Potiphar went and found Joseph. Potiphar sent Joseph to jail. And Joseph had to stay in jail for some years. But God was still with Joseph, even in the dark prison. He had not forgotten him or the great plan that he had for Joseph's future. Hello children. In today's story about Joseph, we see that Potiphar's wife did a terrible thing by telling a lie which landed Joseph in prison. But we also see that even in prison, God was still with him. It showed God's faithfulness even in the midst of our troubles. And when things look really, really terrible and we find ourselves in difficult situations, let's remember that God is still with us. Let us pray. Dear God, we thank you, Father, that even in the midst of difficult times, you are still with us. We thank you that you are a faithful God and we ask, Lord, that you will help us as we go through life each day and as we face trials and we face difficulties, that we will always remember that you are a faithful God and you are with us. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Bye. See you next week.